connects with you know the average ordinary American you know black white young old is the fact that our tax dollars are being stolen and wasted by multi-billion dollar banking corporations and uh, you know during the bailouts these guys received 44 billion dollars and that went straight into the bonuses of the CEO structure and because they own the presidential candidates and because they own Congress they can lie to everybody and get away with it. No one's going to do anything. Um, that's white collar crime. You know, the NYPD enforces blue collar crime, or is supposed to. You, know, you see them running security and babysitting us out here, but their job is to really stop murders and thefts and real crimes. Um, and because there's no white collar criminal, you know, police force, um, that's why Occupy exists to make sure that these guys can't get away with laundering, extortion, fraud, bribery, perjury. Um, and on and on and on. So these things absolutely contribute to the fact that we are more than 17 trillion dollars in debt as a country and if we don't hold them accountable and if we don't implement regulation where we deregulated and that completely screwed our economy, if we don't implement regulation and oversight then it will continue to happen and we won't have an economy. So. Um, I hope that this is a tipping point in holding the powerful accountable and I hope that um, other CEOs that are making a shady deals are running scared for their boardrooms trying to figure out how to clean up their, their, their act. And that's what I'm, I'm hoping comes with all this. Lord Sachs, right here on Broadway. The encampment has moved around a little bit. It started out over there, and then it sort of moved over here, and then I think it was on Monday it moved over here. And I think the idea was this is a better place. It's a wider sidewalk, and uh, signs can be displayed, and there's more room. This is a sleepful protest. It is legal in the city of New York to conduct a sleepful protest on city property, which is what this is. So, so far, things I think have been pretty good. Now, of course, there's a big storm coming in, and I think the folks here have decided they're not going to be displaced. It's hopefully, we will have a long and glorious occupation right here outside the wonderful home 
of Boyd Black flying up here. He's probably up on the top floor. I'm sure he's watching this on YouTube. In fact, he's probably watching this very video. Thank you, Lloyd, for paying attention. <laughs> Pepsi and Coke, that's a bad restaurant, so why is it that way when I vote? I want to drink pink lemonade, how about Kool-Aid, how about tea or coffee? Not just Pepsi and Coke, two sugary, crappy drinks that will rot my teeth. How about a glass of water, you know? Pepsi and Coke? More beverage options. Pepsi and Coke? That's America. That's American electoral politics. And you added the electoral college to it, which completely strips the popular vote of whatever power it had, and you've got nothing. You've got two parties doing a dance, they're two puppets on strings, and then you've got whatever we could have mustered together just stripped out from under us to support that puppet dance. Like, it's such a charade. It's disgusting, and it needs to stop. I'm over it. So that's why we're at the Puppet Master's house. <laughs> Because he's the one with the monastery. Snip, 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 snip. Years owned by Britain. 100 years of British ownership through the corporate crime syndicate. Right now, I just got here for the Goldman Sachs thing. I'm reading a book on international bankers right now, so I'm just more so getting the history of it. But as far as this goes, I mean, it's just basically like, I mean, he's the CEO of Goldman Sachs. He makes $250,000 a day. He's pocketing a ridiculous amount of money. And, you know, we barely even get the amount, like, we don't get nearly all of our wages, you know. These guys are just pocketing all this money, and they're actually making money off of the recession because of the way that they're hoarding goods and everything, like, you know, rice or wheat and things like that, and then using it to their own advantage. That, you know, there's so many foreclosed homes in the U.S., so many people that aren't even living in houses, empty houses, and then there's so many homeless people. You know, you gotta, there's something going on with that when there's more empty houses than a ridiculous amount than has been in, you know, since the real bad recession, the Great Depression, and the real, you know, job rate is, you know, the uh, jobless rate is like 20%. It's <laughs> Hey man, how you doing? That's great, I love it.